As ye rip, so shall ye sow. For sewing, primitive women used a primitive needle. But with the crinoline in the 18th century came the sewing machine. With the aid of the Science Museum London, we are able to show some of the earliest attempts at mechanical stitching, like this machine invented by a French tailor in 1830. It was afterwards destroyed by infuriated seamstresses. Probably the first machine to be designed, though not made till much later, was the invention of a London cabinet maker, Thomas Saint, in 1790. It was a single thread or chain stitch machine, with the disadvantage that if the end of the thread was pulled, the whole lot came undone. With the lock stitch, the threads cross in the middle of the thickness of the material and are held firm. In 1853, a Mr. Thomas of Cheapside confounded the doubting Thomases by patenting this lock stitch machine. The shuttle bobbins were filled by an independent winder, and for sewing leather, it was the biggest thing so far. 1854 saw the first really practical lock stitch machine. It's still in working order today, though it does get the stitch sometimes. In 1861 came the device for moving the material after each stitch, but it wasn't very good for the material. A portable lock stitch machine appeared in 1885. Though small, it did fine work. Nowadays, of course, you simply switch before you stitch. And isn't it strange that when girls wore all this, every stitch was done by hand, and what a labor of love. Now that the electric machine can do all your sewing in no time, there's hardly anything to sew. So what? So what better than a